Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Math with Miss Ashline. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to use a clock in fraction form. So you need a clock like this, not like a clock on your cell phone or um, on your, I don't know, what's it called? Your DVR, your cable box, that thing. You need a clock like this where the hands move. So we can actually cut this clock into lots of different pieces. The first way I'm going to cut it is right down the middle. And the reason why I'm cutting it right down the middle is because that's half. That's why we say it's half an hour. When we say that there's 30 minutes, that's half an hour. And I know it's 30 minutes because each of these numbers represents five minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Here's 30 minutes, it's half an hour. It's half of the clock. The next way I'm gonna cut it is from the three to the nine. These are our quarters, these are fourths. Here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Each fourth is 15 minutes, five, 10, 15. So each quarter hour is 15. So here's a quarter, a quarter, quarter, quarter. That's why we say, oh, it's a quarter past 12 or a quarter till 12. These are our quarters. Hopefully this will help. Um, another way, one more way that we can cut it, I totally forgot, ooh, is if I cut it from every number into the center, I'm gonna have 12 pieces. There we go. So I have 12 pieces on this clock, just like how I have 12 numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Woohoo! 12 pieces. So if I have one hour, that would be equal to 12 twelfths. That's how I'm going to use a clock as a fraction. 12 twelfths is an hour or 60 minutes and then if I have like the half so 30 minutes is equal to let's see one two three four five six six twelfths just like how six is half of 12 30 minutes is half of 60 minutes or half of an hour all right I hope this helps go read a clock go practice telling time with a clock with hands on its face I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day bye guys